And that breaking news we continue to cover heavy rain is making its way through Southern California tonight as Tropical Storm Hillary bears down and begins moving north. The big concern is all of that water and the risk of flash floods. Right now this is a live look at San Diego. It seems like the rain is fairly calm right now, but roads are definitely wet downtown. We are already starting to see some of the damage from Hillary. Look at this new video out of Santa Clarita tonight showing portions of that roadway just fall into that rushing water as flash flooding is forcing road closures in the area, something we are seeing across Southern California tonight. Wow, that is the sound of water rushing, carving this path through the desert floor. This is video taken near Palm Springs this afternoon. The water is also carrying a lot of debris with it, and that water is moving fast. And take a look at this other perspective of the significant flooding in Palm Springs. Streets there turned into rivers. One driver who tried to go through this flooded intersection got stuck. You can see that water is rushing and all of the debris that it is carrying with it as well. A reminder, if you're in Southern California, you see floodwaters, turn around, do not drive into it. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Brittany Hope. We do want to go straight to meteorologist Dirk Vador and Dirk, you have been monitoring the path of Hillary all weekend for us. Where are we seeing the biggest impacts right now? Well, again, Southern California has had the biggest impact so far, and we're going to take a look at some of the numbers. We can see that flow of moisture is steadily working its way from the south to the north. So we are starting to catch a little bit of a break in spots like San Diego with just some light rain and that will continue to decrease as all this moisture continues to work its way up through California and on into Nevada and points north. This goes all the way up past Idaho into Montana and even North Dakota. We're seeing this stream of moisture affect that, their weather. So here's some of the numbers that we're seeing. Again, the radar is what we currently are getting with the radar, but these are numbers that we've had over the past, well, over the past 24 hours. Avalon's had almost two inches of rainfall. Los Angeles has had over over two inches of rainfall. San Diego's had about two inches of rainfall, over an inch and a half at Oceanside, over an inch and 68 hundredths in Riverside. And look at this pushing close to three inches in Palm Springs. And that's again in the lower elevations. That's at the airport. The surrounding mountains are going to be seeing a lot more rain than that. Uh, Ridgecrest, look at that, 3.4 inches of rainfall. Lancaster, 3.61 inches of rainfall. And again, this is all moving to the north, a steady stream. And you can see that stream making its way into the northern states. Futurecast shows the amounts of rain that we're going to be seeing again will be decreasing, but we're still going to be seeing quite a bit in through the upper elevation. So the mountains could see several inches possibly over the next 12 hours or more, and then one to three inches into the deserts and across Nevada. So the activity is still will remain through tomorrow before we really see some breaks in that rain, Brittany. All right, Dirk, thank you. And right now, the State Operations Center in Sacramento is activated to closely monitor the impacts from the storm and coordinate the response. It is all hands on deck at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, or Cal OES. Governor Gavin Newsom proclaimed a state of emergency this weekend to support the state response. The governor's office says more than 7,500 people were mobilized, including the California National Guard, thousands of CHP officers, and Caltrans workers out on the roads. We have been monitoring storm impacts 24-7 across the state. Uh, I think the, the good thing is, is that we were out early and proactive, ensuring that we had resources in communities on the ground so that we could respond to anything that came up. Today, Governor Newsom traveled across Southern California and warned people there to be on high alert. Take nothing for granted. If you think, boy, the skies are clear and I can go out on a long jog or walk, just be cautious. Wait till this time tomorrow night. President Joe Biden also released a new statement tonight saying in part, quote, as soon as Tropical Storm Hillary's path became clear, my administration took immediate action to prepare at my direction. FEMA deployed to California federal personnel and supplies that can be surged to impacted communities. The U.S. Coast Guard pre-positioned aircraft to allow for rapid response and search and rescue efforts. With heavy rainfall in the southern part of our state tonight, the biggest concern is flooding. Swiftwater rescue teams are strategically positioned throughout Southern California in areas most at risk. A Cal OES strike team from the Sacramento Fire Department just packed up all of their gear earlier today to hit the road. They are now headed to Bishop, which is in Inyo County. They're bringing all the gear they would need, including five rescue boats. This team is made up of 16 of our own members who are very highly trained in not only swift water, but hazmat communications. 
Sacramento Fire doesn't know how long the team will be deployed, but they say they are ready to stay in the area for at least two weeks. Tropical Storm Hillary is also affecting flights in and out of cities that are being hit hard by the rain and wind. Some of those flights were supposed to leave from Sacramento today, but were canceled. KCRE 3's Orko Mana met travelers at the Sacramento International Airport who were having to stay here another night in the capital city. Several people scramble to find a way home from Sacramento. Some flights out of Sacramento International Airport Sunday are canceled and others are delayed. A majority of them are through Southwest Airlines. This comes as Tropical Storm Hillary pummels parts of the West Coast where many of the impacted flights from Sacramento are supposed to go. Our original flight was supposed to be today. Beth Webb was scheduled to fly with Southwest Sunday to El Paso, Texas on a connecting flight, but that's not happening anymore. Now we're stuck in Sacramento for another night. <laughs> She's now taking a different flight Monday, but she has to make special arrangements. We have to get a, an extra hotel room for another night. Wasn't planning on that. My husband's going to miss another day of work, so I wasn't planning on that. These two women say their Sunday morning flight from Sacramento to Phoenix was canceled. Ever since then, we've been trying to rebook and get on a new flight. But they're happy Southwest Airlines gave them a 24-hour notice. We got a text yesterday morning that our flight was canceled. We were kind of like, wow, a whole day you know, early, they just canceled the flight. So we knew it must have been from the hurricane. In a statement to KCRA 3, a Southwest Airlines spokesperson says in part, quote, our teams continue monitoring the progress of the storm. As California's largest carrier, we've made proactive adjustments to our flight schedule through the weekend and have communicated with affected customers. As passengers like Webb navigate the cancellations, they're trying to stay positive. A little stressful, but in the big picture of life, you know what, like I said, first world problems and you just got to go with the flow when you're traveling. Reporting in Sacramento, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. Some good perspective there tonight. Southwest Airlines says it will continue to share updates as Tropical Storm Hillary progresses and will be ready to help passengers during and after this storm. Meanwhile, schools in Los Angeles and San Diego are canceling classes tomorrow as Hillary rages on. Many roads are closed tonight and officials are warning commuters not to drive around barricades. A mudslide has closed all lanes on part of Interstate 8. Emergency crews warn tonight the worst is yet to come as the impact from Hillary is expected to last another 24 hours as the storm heads up the state and to Nevada. We do want to bring back meteorologist Dirk Fedor and Dirk, it's not just Southern California. We're seeing the impacts of Hillary here too. Yeah, we're going to shift gears and take a look at what's going on here in Northern California where we are seeing that rain starting to really pick up in through the mountains. Taking a closer look from Tuolumne County where we have had some steady moderate to heavy rain. So you can see all the areas areas of yellow and orange that are showing up. That's where we have that heavier rain. So we're seeing that near Sonora up Highway 108 along Highway 4 around Arnold. We've been seeing that all the way up to Bear Valley. And then as you make your way closer to Lake Tahoe, Highway 50 over Echo Summit, some heavy rain in South Shore Lake Tahoe to the North Shore. We're seeing that heavier rain now in Truckee as well. Also moving in towards Reno, Carson City and Nevada getting some of that heavier rainfall. Future cast shows that uh, conditions again as far as the valley is concerned. We're not looking at a lot of rain from this. We will see some measurable rain, but uh, the, where we're going to see interesting conditions is where we get into the afternoon. We could see some thunderstorms and that's where we could get some uh, pretty good accumulations of rainfall if you're underneath one of those. But again, upwards of a half an inch or more in some of the Sierra locations. And then we see things kind of shift to the drier note with more more isolated thunderstorms as we head through Monday afternoon and on into Tuesday. That's the latest with the rain in Northern California. Now back over to you. Dirk, thank you for monitoring it all. Around the clock, we are tracking Hillary on air and online. You can follow the storm and its impacts on your KCRA 3 app. Make sure to turn on alerts to get breaking news updates right to your phone.